Hey everybody, I'm here in Mountain Shadows with Tom Gonzalez from the El Paso County Health Department. Welcome Tom. Thanks for having me on, Katie. It's my pleasure. You know, we are standing um, on a lot that has been completely razed. The entire home was destroyed, correct? It, it, it is correct, yes. Right, and in our background there's fire damage and to our other side is a home that they're working on the foundation correct? It is. They're getting the ash and debris out of there. Yeah, which is another step. But there are lingering effects of this fire. I mean, it's a good thing the fire is out, obviously, but there are going to be ramifications for years. There possibly could be, Katie. Okay. The, and the first one is is the ash, blowing ash and debris uh, within these sites. Do I have to worry about my <laughs> no, breathing? No. More, it's more for the folks in the ash and the cleanup company. The one across the street we have over here where they're in the process of just removing that ash. Right. We want them to be wearing these yeah. because they're, they're going to keep that ash from getting in their lungs. Exactly. Well, that's really important. So is it not as important for the people who are still staying here? It is, but really the public health message is if the ash, the wind's blowing yeah. and the ash you can see it. Yeah. Get in your house, close the windows, close the doors. Right. Now that it's cooler outside, it's a little easier to do. Right. Uh, we really don't want children and pets playing in the ash. They oh need yeah. To stay in out fact, of I think that there's something in my eye to be to be honest. I mean, there's just a, it's just everywhere. I yeah. mean, another thing, and we've talked about this land uh, about. Uh, flood mitigation and erosion. Tell us about that. Yeah, really that phase two is what you're seeing I'm here. I'm going to hang on to you. Yeah, don't fall. <laughs> yeah. Is, I probably would. We've got, we've got seed down, we've got uh, straw bells, so we're, we're making sure that when it rains, which it's been doing, yeah. it's not rushing off here causing erosion and flooding. Right, I see those, uh, those sort of barricades. Yes, exactly. Is that what are they called technically? Yeah, they got yeah. fancy straw barricades is what I call okay. them. Okay. Oh, and they're just trying to keep it all here until the plants grow up and keep that soil stable. Okay, great. And what about flooding from uh, up to the west? Yeah, there's a lot of caution to be taken care of with, with that as far as our drainage systems and stormwater, uh -huh. making sure it's all getting out of there. So the, really the big thing is, is getting these slots cleaned up as quickly as possible. Yes. Getting areas where we know there's erosion, maintain and kind of uh, cornered a little bit. Right. So we're not getting back up and flooding. Right, because we keep hearing about that, that flooding is gonna be a huge issue. Yeah, it, it certainly could be. Okay, what else do we need to be concerned about? Well, really, particularly, the, you know, obviously the residents that were in the affected areas. Yes, you know, it's, it's, it, it's case by case, as you see a home standing there and then these three were hit. It's the folks living up here, yeah. and until it gets to this state, uh -huh. we're asking the contractors, working with them to make sure they're wetting the debris when they're removing it. You see Why did, that, it. that helps mitigate the, the transmission yes. of dust. Because when they're picking that the dust ash. up and that yeah. ash, it's blowing around. So right. we want them to have water on site, wetting that to knock that down. Right, so what effect does that have on our, our water, city and county water, well there's a city, right? So. It's, it's pretty minimal. Most of the water's okay. being hauled in, like you'll see behind us. They mm -hmm. have a, a portable hauling truck and they're wetting it during the process. So it's continuously wetting okay, it. Okay, great. And what portion of, of residents are still living here? Do you have any idea? Uh, you know, I don't. I, I do know there's quite a few because we're working closely with the residents. If there is a complaint, uh, ash being stirred up from a poor cleanup operation. Right. They're not using water. Folks have been calling us. Do they call you? They call oh, us. Oh, you lucky guy. 578-3199 is our air quality number. And Wonderful. Is there can, a website too? There is. It's elpasocountyhealth.org and you can click uh, file an air quality complaint and okay. we will investigate and work with that contractor That's to rectify wonderful. the problems. You yeah. guys are really doing a good job and you were on the scene pretty quickly. We were. We were asked to be up here uh, the Sunday when uh, residents were allowed to come back in okay. and see their homes for the first time, which uh, was so devastating. It is, I mean, devast beyond devastation. I mean, it's a tremendous loss. Um, and uh, there's a wonderful group, uh, Colorado Springs together.com yeah. that uh, is working just specifically in this area. Are you involved with them? We're giving them information like the masks. We're mm -hmm. giving them our, our uh, all, we got a wealth of information on our website, but you can go to their, their site there by Walgreens and there's tons of handouts. You get a free mask if you okay. need one. Oh, good, good, uh, good. And also we have vouchers for free tetanus shots. So if you're inside. Is and, tetanus uh, a problem here? Well, it, for nails, rusty right. nails. And if you haven't had one in the last 10 years, it, you ought to get one. Definitely in the last five, get a booster is what uh, we recommend. Okay, so, okay, it, so not not ten. All right, five. Yeah. So if you're if you're going to be sifting through the ash, looking for things, we recommend get that booster shot. Get one of these long sleeve shirts, pants, 
making sure you're trying to avoid that dust yeah. on your body and in your lungs as best as possible. Okay, Tom Gonzalez, thank you so much. You're always a great guest and full of wonderful information. Well, thanks thank for you having for, me again. Thank you for all you're doing. Thanks. I'm putting my mask on. <gasps>